guys, that is pretty much all the footage I got. I do apologize. I didn't get more. I was just kind of trying to get these guys sold, and I wasn't as focused on filming that day. Prices, I have them right here. And uh, what we got for these calves, the average price was about $1.24 a pound, and the average weight was uh, 645 pounds. Now, uh, one of the problems with this group, I had a lot of variation in weights, so my smallest calf was 560 pounds, and then my biggest calf was 715 pounds. So, quite a variation in, uh, in weights there. Wasn't really very even. The price is kind of ranging all over the place. Uh, the 715 pounder brought $1.35, uh, 560 pounder brought $1.08. Now, part of the reason for that being so low, I think, is probably because he was a Hereford. I had two Herefords in that group, and they both brought $1.08 a pound. And then the rest were uh, Angus. They were Black Angus. Uh, people like Black Angus more in this area. They'll pay more for a Black Angus over like something like a Hereford. So that's why those Herefords kind of suffered on their price versus the others. I was pretty happy with the way these guys sold. I wish they'd been a little bit more even in uh, in their weights, of course. And I, the main thing I wish that I could have gotten was a little bit lower weight. I was trying to market these calves as grass cattle. I try to market these calves towards uh, stalker cattle, grazers. So they buy these calves and they want them to be completely background and stuff. They just stick them on grass, essentially. Uh, so that's why... Uh, we try to market them as weaned vaccinated. I actually took them to a different sale this time. They kind of value those weaned vaccinated calves higher there. They'll kind of market them for you a little bit. Stocker cattle grazers, and they want them right around 575 pounds to like 625 pounds. That's, you know, like about a low six weight is kind of the sweet spot. Optimal uh, time to buy them for grazing cattle. So some of them were right in that range. I had like, uh, where is it, 630? 575, uh, and then I obviously had the one that was like 715. That was that was much bigger than I would have liked. I would have liked him about 100 pounds lighter. And that was the main thing I didn't like with this group. So the weights were just a little little scattered. Were kind of scattered all over the place, and some were too big. But they, like I said, they brought a dollar uh, 24 a pound. So the sale barn takes their little fee, and uh, that brings me down to 5,435 dollars and 56 cents. I paid $2,708.56 for them when I first bought them. Now that includes my buyer's fee. I pay a buyer to uh, go and pick them out and buy them for me. That way I don't spend my whole day at the uh, sale barn and he, he knows cattle more than I do so uh, he'll, he'll pick out some good stuff for me. Then we had like my processing fees so I backgrounded these calves at uh, my friend Ben's place. Essentially what we did there is we gave him vaccines and stuff, you know, get get the right medicine in them, warm them, uh, things like that, put ear tags in them. And I have a video of that you can go check out. I'll leave a thing up top right of the screen and I'll leave a link down below this video as well if you would like to go check that out. It shows us uh, getting these calves ready and when, we, when they first arrived here. So when we gave them the vaccines and also the hauling fees from taking them to the sale barn to here. I didn't do that. I paid someone to do that for me as well. After giving them medicine and hauling them and all of that, it was $218.04 total for all seven calves. And then I had my feed in there. I'll put that on the screen how much that was now. I did graze these calves and that was one of the things I got, you know, grass gain off of them. Even though they weren't, you know, optimal grazing uh, weight, like I talked about earlier, like in that 600 pound range, you can still graze them and you'll still get some free gain off of that. You know, for the feed, I was paying a little less than $8 for a 50 pound bag, right? Well, you know, the grass, I'm really not putting that into. So that's a, that's a cheap gain. And uh, I was able to save myself some money there and that helped to uh, give me a good profit. So it's still not nutritious enough grass. I need to do some work to my fields. So it's not really nutritious enough for them to be solely on grass. So I had to give them a supplement with feed. Then I had some mineral and stuff I had to give them. Some mineral bags to make sure they get good vitamins and nutrition and that kind of stuff. Got about two bags of that. But after feed, the backgrounding and processing fees, hauling fees, all that, buyer's fees, uh, initial purchase price and feed it comes out to $3,968.55. Mineral is not actually on this page. Uh, so after that, and like, you know, some gas running to get, get feed and haul them up there, even though Ben hauled them for free, which, once again, big thank you to Ben for helping me with this group. Couldn't have done it without him. Very knowledgeable about this, and he's taught me quite a lot in the last year or two. But 
Anyways, after, you know, some, some gas and things like that, I'll round this number up to about $4,100, roughly. My sale price after the sale barn fees was $5,435.56. I believe that came out to about $190 profit ahead. That's much better than my previous herd. I'm actually up to my fourth herd in real life. I'm kind of far behind on videos, so I've got some catching up to do, some videos to post for you guys. Uh, we sold them a steer, so that helped with marketing a little bit better. Those guys want some steers for, uh, for grazing. Yeah, th this herd sold very well. Okay guys, so after I sold this herd, I bought a second herd about a month later, like mid-September. Mid and uh, I'm gonna show you guys when we bought those and uh, when we processed them, gave them their medicine when they first arrived here on the farm. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys at the end of this video.
Okay, so we finished up my group. We got about 24 of Ben's calves to do, and then we're gonna take, I'm gonna get out of here, and we'll take mine back to our place tomorrow. Suckling calves, I call them. Yeah. They're young. It's like the next level of management for you. Right. You're kind of stepping up to a little, like a calf that's going to be... A little more challenging. More challenging, but more reward. And they'll be more uniform, too. Yeah. Okay, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I cannot stress this enough. I really want you guys to check out in the description the medicine I gave these calves. I've listed it all down there, like the names of the medicine and what the medicine does. Like this is Synanthic, this is a wormer, and that was one of the things I was giving them. It was an oral wormer. I think it's just easier for me at least for uh, someone to read something rather than uh, have someone tell it to them. So I figured that might be better for you guys is just to read what I gave them instead. And that will be in the description below. One of the most popular questions I've had is stuff about medicine on these calves, what I'm giving them and things like that. So. Uh, please go check that out. But I do hope to have dedicated videos in the future talking about medicine solely about like cattle health and stuff. I could talk for hours on uh, on cattle health if I wanted to. I mean, there's so much to learn here. And I still have a lot to learn about this kind of stuff. Ben is a great source of information. And I, like I said in the video, I've learned so much from him. And I'd like to see if me and Ben can do some videos together in the future and uh, teach you guys some about this kind of stuff because there's so much to be learned about it, and it's really interesting, uh, in my opinion. So, anyways, I think I got enough footage to uh, do another video or two about this group. So, hope you guys are excited for that. I'll have probably either another cattle video, or maybe a hay baling video, something, of course, something coming out soon. I do apologize it's been so long since I posted a video. I just wanted to get this one right, a lot of information on it. So, I did do a video about processing the seven stalker calves, the ones that we sold at the start of this video. So, if you guys want to see that, you can click this end screen. But anyways, that is about it for this vid. So I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.